Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Hey, Gabe Seymour here with Pest Patrol. Today we're gonna be trapping some moles here in Southeast Portland. We're right by uh, Montevilla Park here and um, customers got uh, a few mole hills that have popped up. So we're gonna show you how to set some traps, um, where to look for them and that sort of thing. So uh, this customer doesn't have too much activity. So we've got, um, we've got a hill here. And then if you come along down here, you'll see um, activity there, activity here, um, and it just sort of goes along more there, etc. cetera. Um, now moles really love to go along the borders, edges of things. Um, oftentimes though, you will see them out in the lawn. Fortunately for this guest, uh, this customer, um, there's none out here in the lawn. And then I'll show you, but there's a couple over here by the steps as well. Um, so let's get started. That's the trap we just set. We're gonna do the same thing just right over here. There's this mound area in the bark chips. So we'll kind of move the bark chips aside so we don't uh, mess it up too bad. And with these, it's it's such a, a, a kind of surface level mound that I'm actually gonna just push in with my fingers. And as you look down, here and dirt keeps falling into it um, but there's a tunnel going this way and then a tunnel going the other way this is much more of a surface uh, surface level mound um, I'll dig it out just a little bit and then I'll stick a trap here as well kind of serrated edge I'm gonna cut a little chunk here out of the grass and we'll be careful that we save this because then we don't have to destroy uh, destroy the grass and yep sure enough as we dig down here you'll see there's a tunnel that goes that way and then a tunnel that goes that way um, so sort of left and right um, so what we're gonna do I'm gonna dig this out a little more and then we're gonna take our trap and we're gonna basically stick it right in there like that so that uh, the claws go over both tunnels okay so here we got our two tunnels right here, one going this way, one coming back that way. And then there's actually a third tunnel that goes this way. Right now, I'm gonna just set the trap here for this because I know that moles generally are gonna go along these edges. Uh, there's a chance when I set this that the mole is actually gonna be coming from in here um, and that they'll spring it and not get caught. Okay, so these traps come with little levers to use to sort of pry them open. But out in the field, those end up getting lost. You don't have them on hand. Um, so I don't even keep the levers anymore. Uh, what I do is I use a shovel, just a little hand shovel. Um, and then you stick your feet on either side of the lever here. You're gonna pull it back. And then you're just going to get a better angle. Hopefully you can see that. You're just gonna stick that right under the trigger right there. And now this won't trigger it this will trigger it, so be careful. And uh, something I didn't mention in previous uh, traps that I was setting here um, is when you have your you have your tunnel, so I've got another one kind of running along this way, um, and I'm gonna set my trap in like this. And, uh, but, uh, so this is the tunnel right here, and I sort of backfill it with dirt just a little bit. Um, I find that if the if the mole is uh, and see my trigger is touching the dirt there, which is perfect. Um, if the mole is digging when it comes through, uh, it's got more activity and it's more likely to get caught. Okay, so a couple things here I didn't mention. There is a little safety on these traps. You can flick it right there, so that way if it does get sprung, it won't uh, close all the way and it won't uh, spring on you and it doesn't scare you quite as much. <laughs> um, make sure you flip that off before or you can accidentally, the mole can trip it. Um, so now again, there's a tunnel going from that direction. There's a tunnel coming from that direction. And then underneath, there's this trigger right here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually push some dirt, not a ton, just a little bit, so that it touches that trigger now we're gonna make sure that our claws on either side kind of align with the tunnel so it's not too high, not too low. And then, um, and then I'm gonna take this chunk of grass, 
I'm gonna put it on this side. Make sure you don't put it on the side with the um, spring over here because then it'll make it so it can't close. You stick it on this side so it sort of helps it stay alive. Um, and then, and then we'll put a flag and just mark that so that nobody steps on it and that sort of thing. If you get into a situation where it's like this, where this back part is so far up against the uh, dirt that this won't be able to actually release the, um, the, the lever, all you're gonna need to do is just take your shovel and just carefully provide a little space back behind it and um, and that's going to solve your problem that'll allow this oh, goodness gracious that'll allow the lever to move there and uh, the trap to spring if needed and so another common thing we see this is right up against the house here and uh, and I didn't even see any activity but I just was guessing it and if you see there's a tunnel there and a tunnel coming here this is very very common now keep in mind see there's all these rocks in here got to make sure that the dirt that we're setting the trap in doesn't have rocks if it's got rocks they're gonna get caught in the trap and the mole's gonna get away hey guys um so i'm back here uh later this week um so far i still haven't um caught the mole here seems like it's probably a pretty small one i have like eight or nine traps set and i keep getting traps sprung with no mole. Um, so I want to show you here, a, a, a hill did appear in the middle of the yard, so I wanted to kind of show you what I do. So the hill was right here. This is all the dirt. I already moved it aside. Um, but as you kind of brush the dirt aside here, you'll notice there's a middle section, sort of this plug of dirt. And what you're going to do is you're going to dig down into here. And sometimes you can even, yeah, so you can even uh, poke your finger in there and you can find the tunnel where that mole is pushing the dirt through. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shovel. You're gonna dig. A section out and you're gonna keep this because you're gonna put this back. So make sure you keep that grass, but you're gonna dig out a section and then um, and then you're gonna find the, the tunnels that go each direction. It's so like in this case, um, it's coming from this side and there's gonna be a tunnel that is running right along here. So I'll dig out some more grass right here and set a trap um, right there. Okay, so we caught the mole and like I was thinking, it's a pretty small mole, as you can see. Um, yeah, and that's why it kept springing all the traps. Uh, so we have this one caught. There was still some activity, um, which I'm pretty sure was caused by this guy, but I'm gonna reset the traps just one more time to be sure. And uh, if there's nothing else after that, then we'll take out the traps and finish out the job. Hey guys, so that's all there is to it. Uh, setting mole traps, how to set them, where to set them, where to look and uh, best practices. Hey, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below or shoot us an email or call. We're in the Portland area, so if this is helpful, I'm so happy. And if you don't wanna do this yourself, feel free to give us a call and we'd be happy to help. Gabe at pestpatrolpdx.com.